up everybody Garrett back here and what I want to talk about today is the brand new 4k from Unearthed Films for 1991's The Giver. Now The Giver is a 1991 kind of sci-fi action movie. Um, this has a real interesting story uh, especially with me when it comes to memories. So before I kind of get into this I want to discuss The Giver and as far as my memories before. So this movie is actually something that I saw as a young kid in the early 90s, but I didn't see The Giver. I actually saw Giver 2. Now, Giver 2 is the sequel to Giver, and it's actually really out of print. Giver 2 is actually really hard to find. My brother and I saw this. I think it was on like HBO or Max or Showtime or something like that as a kid when we were staying at my aunt's house because she had a lot of those channels, so we did catch a lot of movies we didn't see at home. We absolutely loved it. Around that time, Power Rangers was really huge, and I felt like when we saw The Giver 2... It felt like Power Rangers on steroids. And we loved it so much, so we're like, we need to find the original Giver and, and what part one is like. And that's what we did. And we ended up getting the Giver on VHS. And we absolutely loved this. It had Mark Hamill, so we're familiar with him from Star Wars. But man, this was Mark Hamill with a mustache. Now, this movie is absolutely wild. So Mark Hamill is a CIA agent, and he witnesses a murder, and not just any murder. Uh, he saw these thugs murder this guy, but there was something different about these people. They, they turned into monsters. And when it comes to this movie, this movie was directed by Screaming Mad George. He actually did the effects for Elm Street 4, and that's kind of how he was discovered for this project. So not only did they want him to do the effects, but he also got them to let him direct this movie. And with help of Brian Usna, the Giver came to life. Now, this thing has an all-star cast. I mean, you got not only Mark Hamill, but if you're a horror fan, you know, Brian Yuzna is involved. You have Jeffrey Combs from the Reanimator series, and his name in this movie is actually Dr. East. So if you're familiar with the Reanimator franchise, you know that his name was Dr. West. So very interesting fun fact that it was Dr. East in this, and his boss was none other than David Gale, who you also remember from Reanimator. Linnea Quigley makes a fun appearance. And you have Michael Berryman for all you horror fans who like The Hills Have Eyes. So really cool to have them involved in this as well. And when it comes to the practical effects, this movie kicks so much ass. I mean, it really does remind me of like an adult version of Power Rangers. You have these monsters, you have the Giver, who, who's almost like this Power Ranger-esque martial artist from space. Now again, with this all-star lineup, with a lot of these horror characters that you're used to seeing, uh, this movie really does feel like the Power Rangers on steroids. It's the best way to look at it. This came out before the Power Rangers aired here in the U.S., but part two definitely came out afterwards. But as a kid of the 90s, that's the only thing you could relate this thing to. Now, I've loved this movie ever since. As you see, I ended up buying the DVD. I got the Blu-ray from Arrow Films. And now Unearth Films decided they were going to give us the 4K of The Giver. Now, this is a pretty cool addition because... Again, you lift this off, it's got reversible art. This is kind of like an old school, looks like that Japanese poster there. And there's a lot of new features on this thing. When it comes to the total package here, you do get a lot more features on this edition. You get a lot more commentaries. And again, if you check it out, you've got the 4K, the Blu-ray, and you also get the soundtrack. And the music in this movie is fantastic. And not only that, but it does have reversible cover art. So here's the other side, which is a really cool cover there as well but when i heard this was coming out in 4k from unearth films i knew i had to add it to my collection now that's going back to someone who's been a huge fan of this movie ever since he was a little kid and i wanted to kind of see this because there is a lot of weird backstory with this and i've done research and i've tried to figure it out and i'm not really sure exactly what's going on here because there's multiple cuts of this movie now if you take a look at the dvd it says the director's cut right there if you take a look at the arrow blu-ray it says on the back Brand new digital transfer of the director's cut in high definition. And then if you look at the new 4K, it says new 4K restoration of the original R-rated camera negative from Earth Films. So this is the theatrical cut. This says the director's cut. This says the director's cut. Nowhere on here does it say the director's cut. So it's very interesting because I was like, why don't these have both cuts on any of this stuff? Well, doing some research, it almost seems like there's multiple cuts. There's like an 88-minute cut where this is 93 minutes. This is also 92 minutes. This is also 93 minutes. And But this says theatrical cut and this says director's cut. Well, doing research, it actually seems like it's the exact same cut. Um, the different cut is actually the VHS cut. So I don't know where the 88-minute cut is, 
but there's nothing that I have here between VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, 4K that says 88 minutes. So I don't know if it was a television cut, but what I did find out is it almost seems that the VHS is more gore. But again, I'm not an aficionado of the Giver, so a lot of you might know more than I did. I just know the movie. Again, I've been watching it since I was a kid. Maybe there's changes here and there. So very, very interesting. And maybe somebody in the comments can let me know that. But it's an interesting backstory when it comes to the Giver and all these different cuts. But as far as how this looks, it looks fantastic. You get a lot of new commentaries that are on here. So you have a new commentary with co-directors Scream Mad George and Steve Wang, moderated by Dom O'Brien, the author of Budget Biomorphics, the making of Giver films. A new commentary with actor special effects artist Evil Ted Smith and the Creature Shop Lab Tech. New interview with producer Brian Yuzna. New interview with co-director Screw Matt George. New suits test and commentary by co-director Screw Matt George and Stephen Yang. Outtakes, gag reels, trailers, alternate title sequence. Which, again, the alternate title sequence, I wonder if it's the one from the VHS because it is a little bit different on that edition. And new production artwork. So... I actually posted this and I got something online um, from someone who worked on this and I think it was Dom. So maybe he can tell me down below about these different cuts and where they're located. Are they on the 4K somewhere? Are they on the Blu-ray? Are they only on the VHS? I want to know those answers because through my research, I was not really able to find that. But again, going back to this release, if you do not have this movie, The Giver, this is the one to get. Like I said, this has more special features than any of these I have here. And this is such a cool movie and I think you all are going to really appreciate it. This says rated R on the back. The DVD says rated PG-13. So this is just a real big mystery to me when it comes to the different cuts of this movie. But like I said, this is the one I would get. This is brand new from one of our films. I highly recommend you guys checking this out because this is an incredible movie. And you guys know me. I do not recommend everything, but The Giver gets a rad recommendation. Now, guys, I really hope Unearthed Films can get the Giver 2 to go with this Giver 4K. I think that would be totally rad. Now, let me know if you have any memories of this movie. Are you a fan of the Giver? Because, again, like I said, I have a lot of memories from this movie. That's why I have this in all these different formats. And I'm so happy that this thing is getting the treatment it deserves. So let me know your thoughts down below. And are you planning on picking this thing up? This is Garrett at Born to be Rad. And like always, stay.